In like three, two, one. What's up, you guys? We said Ling Shun. Guys, magandang hapon po. Hindi pa na-print eh. Sabi ko, ito, sino to? Oh! That's what I'm with my brother. He's hungry.
right, good afternoon to all those who are tuned in on 979 Home Radio. It feels good to be home. This is Alex, and I'll be the one to keep you company on this beautiful Friday afternoon. So I know that everyone is feeling ecstatic today since it's finally weekend. <laughs> but before we finally jump into that, we want to give you, of course, what you deserve. So consider this as a treat from us because today we welcome on the show one of the hottest Whoa. and most promising actor in Asia. He's a Filipino actor who's caught hearts in Indonesia. Now, people from different regions and places are drooling over his charm and talent. So now that he's, you know, already proven the whole world that what he is truly capable of, he is back home. Finally, to share to his Filipino fans what he is passionate about, and that is music. So boys and girls, let us now welcome, live here at Home Radio for the first time, the one and only, Mr. Leo Consula. What's up, you guys? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Your tagline is so apt from me, actually. Feels good to be home. It really feels good to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Our listeners and the people on social media, if you've noticed, you know, they've been waiting for this. So why don't you give them, you know, like a first wave of pampakilig and say hello. Wow. Ayun, lalo po sa mga nakalive ngayon. Hello po, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sana po, one day, magkita-kita po tayo, no? Sa lahat po ng kababayan natin dito. Alam mo, feeling ko, pinipilig na ito. I think, I think they just... Went offline. <laughs> hello, hello. Yes, they're pretty busy. Leo Consul is finally in the house. Leo, you know, you've been busy with the many projects that you've been offered abroad. But you really took the time, you know, to, to be here. And right. And make us all happy. So thank you. Thank you so much. Also. <laughs> so let's talk about your journey as an actor. From, from being a dreamer, mm -hmm. you are now one of the most dashing gentlemen that oh. women from all over the world fancy about. So with all the blessings now in your life, Leo. You are also a TV host in Indonesia. Yep. You're a singer, writer, vlogger. <laughs> but we want to know, how does it feel suddenly waking up with the majority of your dreams already fulfilled? It is actually surreal. Seriously, it's surreal. Like, I never imagined, like, never in my wildest dream, like, did I ever think that one day I'd be in this position and I'd be on this spot. From a provinciano guy, from oh. Bolino, Pangasinan, from a bus cleaner back in the days. My first burger, mind you, I had it on the, in the bus. The leftover. So quite a story, actually. And to be here to, today, and yeah, it's just, it just feels surreal, actually. Yeah. And you are a successful celebrity now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Leo, speaking of the many blessings in your life, you have a new single on your Right, song, right. And it's called... Kamu. Kamu, it yeah. It is the Bahasa version of Ikaw by Yen Constantino. And That's it's right. out now on different digital platforms. Yes. But I want to know, no, of all the OPM songs that we have here, why did you choose Ikaw by Yen Constantino? What is special about this song? You know what's surprising about that? I actually didn't choose this song. Mm -hmm. Indonesians did. Because Whoa. prior to that, actually, Whoa. the song was already um, famous in Indonesia. Really? Yes, they were singing it in in, in, in Bahasa, uh -huh. but they, their own version. You mean I mean their own translation? Uh, so they were the one who translated. Yes. Like, wow. No, no. Actually, no. They had their own translation, and uh -huh. then when I thought like, why Star Music helped me out? I, they said this song might actually cut, it might catch the attention of yeah. um, Indonesians. So I said like, it let's do that, and it right. did. Yeah, Last right. week we just got number one in radio <laughs> wow. stations there, so I'm so happy with that. <laughs> that <deserves laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank fun. you. It's actually very beautiful. I was listening to the song. Even though I can hardly, I can't understand <laughs> Bahasa, but you know, I don't even need to learn it. Thank you, you so much. Feel the emotion. Thank you, thank you. Just, Appreciate just that. Just by listening to the song itself and your voice. <laughs> damang damang. Damang damang. Like, like, imo na imo. Oh, but speaking of, speaking of ikaw, have you already found your ikaw? I thought I had last time, but we broke up, so not the cow yet. <laughs> I love you, honestly, right? Yeah. So, to all the ladies out there, I know you guys are. Pretty happy. single, hello guys. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> so, initially, Diva, you went to Indonesia to, to work as a teacher, right? Yes, yes, I started And teaching. just when you're about to come back here in the Philippines, you went for a series of auditions, then finally you got it. And it is very inspiring, especially for the OFWs who, you know, who will do everything for the family right, right. who's back here at home. Leo, in previous interviews with local media, it can be inferred that you used to be that kid 
full of big dreams yes. from, from buying pairs of original branded shoes I know, <laughs> to, I know, becoming, I know. to becoming wow. a news anchor. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of your fans are, are tuned in right now and uh, they're all happy that you are even beyond those dreams now. <laughs> but Leo, what advice will you give those people who want to pursue their dreams but you know, who are afraid or doubtful of their of themselves, of their own skills and talents? You know, coming from a very poor family back in the province, you know, I only had my my dreams as my 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 weapon, you know, going up. I'm, I'm becoming very emotional right now. <laughs> very nostalgic. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I always use this a battle cry from from our um, the president, Sir Leave. Actually, your dreams must always exceed your current situation, and if your dreams don't scare you. Your dreams are not big enough. Dream big, always. Make them happen. You will make them happen, no matter how big they are. Wow. Yes. I, I made it, like in, in Indonesia, who would have thought? I mean, I was a foreigner back there. And started like from zero. And here I am now. I'm not saying that I've, I've reached the peak, but I'm, I'm still trying. But at least God has given me so many blessings and I'm very grateful, yeah. And yes, always be grateful. <laughs> You know, I'm about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure our listeners, well, our aim is to inspire people actually listening right now. Oh, I know, I'm sure um, somewhere out there, one is like wishing or hoping that one day they become successful as yeah, well. Yeah. Just, just believe in your dreams. To hold them tight, to strangle them with good purposes. You know what I mean? Wow. Until, until you make them happen. <laughs> you know what, that is not an advice that goes out to all the listeners. But it's happened that oh. I can relate to that. So, so thank you, thank you so much. Okay, let's, let's turn the table. Can I interview you? <laughs> 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 that was good, that was good. Thank you, thank you so but much for being you, so you. honest and for sharing that very inspiring story. So My pleasure. Marami ka pang mas ma-inspire, hindi lang sa Indonesia, know, but all over Asia, all over the world. <laughs> I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> so right now, what would you like to say to your fans, both in Indonesia and here in the Philippines? Can I try it in Indonesia? In Bahasa Indonesia? <laughs> Alright, um, semua, semua fans saya di Indonesia, terima kasih banyak atas supportnya selama ini. Terima kasih udah um, kasih semangat saya setiap hari. Terima kasih um, atas kepercayaannya. Dan I'm, for, I'm, I'm forever grateful guys. At semua aku bayan pun natin sa Pilipinas. Uh, sa sa bang bansa din actually, I, I had my tour last time. I started in um, Singapore and wow. Toronto. And the, oh, hello! <laughs> and um, the reception was really nice. I mean, they really accepted me because it was one of my fears last time when I was in Indonesia. Like going back home, well, are they gonna love me back home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the greatest fear. And then when I started like doing my tours and like um, meeting my fans and stuff, I actually didn't call them fans. It's it's kind of awkward actually to call them fans. <laughs> was most probably yeah yeah, and they're very supportive and um, they accepted me and so I'm very happy. They, we have Leonatics Philippines now. Uh, we started with Leonatics Indonesia yeah, yeah, yeah. and we got Leonatics Singapore and now Philippines and Leonatics Canada as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm forever grateful.